game should be set in natural environments, forests, tundras, jungles, etc. Another. I wonder if the game could be made to work for handicapped people, incapable of delivering the complexity of input to the game normally requires. And here's the part where I start rambling. <laughs> Another note, it should be based on an evolving system. Uh, somehow, Shinobi Rise's system should be designed in a generalized way, and then it should evolve itself based on user input. That is, the developers should make a playable game and allow hundreds of random people to play it. These sessions should be analyzed by psychologists with access to videos of these sessions and also by the game itself, and both should edit the game's internal analysis functions so as to make it more adaptable to the common player. This capacity for self-evolution should extend even to the retail version of the game, so that the game continually learns more about the player and changes its own processes to better suit the player. <laughs> and in a sense, you eventually end up with uh, an emotional mirror, and you, and you see yourself. Uh, let's see what, why not let the players help each other? The game should include a discrete internet connection function. The discreteness is key because the player should never rely on the internet, nor should he be confronted with internet not found messages, as that would disrupt his experience. It should work like this. At certain times, mainly determined by the game, the player can encounter ninja spirits, which are actually other players who have, under corresponding circumstances, temporarily transformed themselves into spirits for the purposes of helping others. And then we're really into the evolving thing, and people guiding each other. Um, I'm a flutter, by the way, without without even need for common language. Hard to describe all this. Speaking of language, I don't even want to ask the player what language he speaks. You start playing, and there'll be like like multiple, even a cave, I mean, multiple passages, right? And from each of these comes a voice continually speaking, and you can't understand any of them except one and you run down that path. And of course, each voice is speaking a different language, which you don't realize that. It seems like gibberish to you. You hear the one voice that makes sense, run down that way, and the game now knows which language you speak. <laughs> tricky, tricky little things. There should be no save files in Shinobi Rises. Each time you start the game, it should have no knowledge of who you are, and it should learn by observation. If there were save files, people would be tempted to use the files of others in order to pretend to have those personality traits. Furthermore, the accidental deletion of such a file would remove the player's progress from the game's perspective, although the player's real-life emotional progress remain intact. So this game has got to, like, know who you are. The game might act like a worry stone. Simply turning it on encourages thoughts of self-improvement, which in turn causes the player to improve. Hmm. Also, uh... So this is a snapshot of some ideas for Shinobi Rises. If you have the time, I'd appreciate your comments. Thanks a lot. Sincerely, me. Um, so yeah, I got like a two-sentence reply on that one. <laughs> I was hoping for some real insight. Um, so that's the end of that letter. But do, do you see where I'm going with this? Probably, it's complex stuff. It's, um, you know, I mean, I, I started off by telling you this is a game without particular winning and losing, which immediately throws it into the, you know, the 0.01% of games that are like that. Um, so, so it's adaptive gameplay. Um, response to, this is the ultimate version of that, responding to your, your, your very emotions. And, and finding abstract ways of expressing these and getting you to deal with it without you even realizing it, right? You think you're just playing, you're just being a ninja, you're just you're just doing whatever whatever it is you feel like doing. You know. It's very interesting. You know, I think the box art for this game, uh, I, I wanna make on the box it should look as little like a game as possible. It shouldn't look like a retail product. It should look like a work of art. But, you know, kind of abstract and there's like a ninja and there's like all these colors and light and like, what is that? <laughs> Something else is what it is. Here's an example um, of the of the game responding to you. What if you um, you know you, you have various enemies, whatever that might come up here and there and everywhere. You might fight, and the game notices <clears throat> that you're acting with um, a lot of force, but very little precision, right? and say it knows you're capable of more precision than that, the game then would detect anger. 
so you when you're angry, you should, you know. And so part of the game has to be subtle enough to know when you're angry versus excited versus... Um, but the game then would give you a beast which feeds off of your anger, right? So you're fighting this and you're fighting that and something comes by and you slice at it and it just slices back at you, you know? And you have to figure out exactly what dying would be like. If it's a game that's meant to go on forever. So you could you never really die. You maybe just like vanish and appear somewhere else. And then you can go back to where you were to face that challenge again. Dang you phones interrupting my stuff. Um who but like this this beast, right? It grows more powerful as you get more angry in this sense. And so you fight it, and it fights you, and you nah, 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 and eventually you stop for a moment, and it kind of stops, and you put the sword down, and and the beast just like screams and withers and dies and vanishes in a puff of smoke or something, you know. And now you, the player, have really, truly learned something, haven't you? That's an interesting thing. Really teaching someone something that they can use outside of the game. Which I guess all games do to an extent. You learn hand-eye coordination, strategy, these things. I'm teaching you about emotions. Something that I don't think any other game directly goes at. Some may have a theme of, like, control your character's emotions, but, like, not really. <laughs> you know? You know, a game that could detect sadness and represent that as like some kind of dark cloud around you that you're meant to break free of. Game communicating in abstract forms. You start to become aware of these these greater powers. Uh, you start, you know, sensing this, this magic and stuff. And, and with more emotional control, I don't mean emotional control like just Discipline, like forget your emotions. Like no, no, no. I'm just like you know, on like really, really knowing yourself. You'd be capable of more things, you know, and be capable of different things depending on your personality. This is all full analog, all um, spontaneously generated, all procedural, right? Interesting stuff out there. And you could theoretically do like anything. You could like teleport, if you had a certain emotional control. It's not even like you know. The, 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 the ding equals the teleport thing. It's like there'd be, there'd be various ways of doing it. There'd be infinite subtleties. Procedural. Interesting. Fear. Anger. Guilt. And anything you might be strong with. This is, this is for people. You know, this is for... When I sometimes I'm stressed, for instance, you know, and I go play a game and that helps me out, well, this would be a game that would like explicitly recognize that I'm stressed and it would scale to me, you know? I like it sometimes. Sometimes you get like, really tired and the best I can do is play like Bubble Trouble out on mini clip, you know? Which I've played like a million times. But like this is all I can do. And then like I and eventually I start, I'm okay, I'm a little more okay, and then I can start doing more complex things. Imagine if the game actually noticed that and, and, and grew right, right along with me. And you can eventually do all sorts of stuff. Very interesting. <laughs>